Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Yo from Subi Speed. I'm underneath our 2015 WRX because we gotta get to the turbocharger area that's right above me. We gotta get there because we are installing a turbo excess blow off valve. Now, we've got three versions of this, a full vent, a recirc, and then a 50-50 hybrid. So today, we're going with the hybrid because we wanna get that blow off valve sound, but recirc that air back into the system so we don't get any check engine lights or drivability issues. So let's take a look at how this is installed, then we'll take you guys for a ride to see how it sounds. So in the kit, comes with the blow off valve itself, and then six washers. These washers will adjust the spring tension, so if you need to get higher boost applications, you'll have to add washers to be able to hold that pressure. Also comes with hose fitting, extra hose that you'll need to extend your factory hose to this port here, some zip ties to close that off, and a general overview and instructions on how to install it. Nice step-by-step, -step, but we'll go through all the little tricky parts for you guys in the video. Let's see what tools we need to get this install done. All right, we're looking at the turbo and inlet area where the bypass valve, the factory bypass valve is. Obviously, we've got a lot of panels to get out of the way, so go ahead and remove those. That would be your first step, and then you will be in this area. When working on this, you guys wanna make sure the car is completely cooled off because you are working either turbo and exhaust manifold, so make sure everything is cooled off because if you get your hands up in there, you might burn yourself. Let's not have that happen. Once everything's cooled off, we can start with the intake hose and vacuum hoses that are, are need to be removed to get to the bypass valve. So we'll go ahead and get these worm clamps off and start removing these hoses. Once we've got all these hoses out of the way, we can get to the bypass valve clamps. We'll loosen these up and move this one towards the inlet coupler here. Then we'll be ready to take this off. Now to remove the bypass valve, We've got two bolts on this intake duct that go to the turbo. You'll need a 10 millimeter bolt to get both of these bolts off. Once we get that off, we can slide this out and get the bypass valve. Those two bolts free. This will move off. And you have to wiggle it to break off that hose there. And you can just leave this hanging here to get the bypass valve out. Have to wiggle it back and forth. It might take a bit to get it off of this connection here. Now you want to get your turbo excess valve installed. What you want to do is take the larger flange on the blow-off valve and insert it into this portion here. It's going to take a little bit of work, but what you want to do is come in at an angle and then work it all the way around. Now with that in place, you can get this tightened down, the turbo inlet housing back into place, and install all your vacuum hoses.
With all the vacuum hoses and blow off valve now in place, the last thing we need to do is get the pressure for the nipple here for the vacuum. And that is why Turbo XS gives us this extra uh, bit of vacuum hose here. And we'll put the T connector on one end. Just like that. Then we'll go ahead and use the zip ties here to get these secure. With the connector in place, we can throw that on there. And another zip tie to get that tight as well. And as you can see, we get a little bit of excess, so we can cut a bit of that off and then we'll connect it there. Now with the extra slack of the hose here, we've got this vacuum hose right up against the engine. And with the hose right up against it, probably don't want that, so we're gonna zip tie it over here to this other hose, just to keep it away from that. Last thing left to do is to throw the intake track back on. We'll button up all the panels and we'll take this thing for a spin. All right guys, we're in the car now and we've already been driving around a bit with the Turbo XS hybrid blow off valve installed on the car. And going around, definitely that great sound from the blow off valve when we lift the throttle when you're under boost. Been getting a lot of looks from people on the sidewalk and all that stuff. Um, so, gotta show you guys what it sounds like. So we're gonna take a ride uh, I'm going to throw the windows down and see what it sounds like. And there, get the clutch in on the shift. You can hear that blow off valve going. And it is pretty loud with the windows down. You definitely can't really notice it when the windows are up. Just a hint if you don't have the radio on but it's a it's a nice huge whoosh definitely the quintessential turbo sound I'm gonna go around a few more times get you guys a good idea of what this is like I honestly can't wipe the smile off my face after driving the car around and hearing that great blow off valve noise coming from under the hood. The Turbo XS hybrid blow off valve is a great way to keep your day to day drive really subtle and then also get a little loud and obnoxious when you get on the boost. So if you guys want to check out these or other options from Turbo XS, go ahead and click the link above me. If you guys got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below or you can shoot us an email, sales at subispeed.com or give us a call, 888-885-2002. As always, like and subscribe for more videos on your 2015 WRX and STI.